Okay, back with another different type of video. I'm gonna try to explain how this jam is set up. Um, it's all being clocked off the MPC. It's a sequencer heavy jam, which means there's a lot of sequencers being used. There's the 119, the SQ1, the Beast and Pest sequencer, the Syntrex sequencer, the Frostwave, um, and then the O control as well. So quite a lot of sequences. Um, probably not a good idea to bring them all up at the same time, but we'll listen to a few of them and I'll just explain as I go. So the base is the Moog source. Um, always using this for bass. It's just being sequenced off the MPC. Really basic one note sequence. So the main sequence in this jam is from the dot com modular. So this is the 119 running on random mode. Uh, everything is being clocked off the MPC, just a straight 16th trigger. Um, the ratchets are coming from this tap tempo LFO, it has a multiplier. So I'm sending the clock out to the envelopes and then using this 179 envelope plus plus as a four step sequencer, which is adding ratchets. So if I turn this up, we get more ratchets. I got the Nord doing some chords. And then the Delta is just gonna be played. And the CS15 is also just going to be played by hand. The Monopoly is being sequenced by the SQ1. The drum voices, one of them is getting its clock off the O control, and the other one is just getting it from the MPC. The Beast and Pest are using their internal sequencer. The one is just getting modulated by its LFO. And the other one is getting this um, modulation from Oscillator 3 on the 2600. The 2600 is getting its sequence from the O control. And then I'm sending oscillator three. Um, I'm doing something with it. I'm sending one of these gate outs 
of an individual step to oscillator three, which is making it jump up and level, or pitch, which is like, you know, makes it come through. So the Pro One's actually not doing anything yet. I might make it do something. Can't forget the hand clapper. So the Syntrax is running off its internal sequencer. And there's also a modulation sequencer going. So if we bring the main sequence back in, The 303 clone just doing a basic thing. The Boomstar is getting its sequence from the Frost Wave. It has Glide on the sequencer, the Frost Wave, so I can try turning it up if I can reach it. I think it was already up. So I might do a full jam of this um, without commentary, but thanks for watching.